Hello everyone. In my previous video, I've, I've demonstrated uh, and spoken about the lookup component on the visual flow, which was one of the features of the Winter 20 release. Today, I'm going to demonstrate another feature from the Winter 20 release, that is uh, make your, your flow screens dynamic with conditional visibility. So let's go to Salesforce and let me demonstrate with the use case. So this is my previous flow, which I've created, uh, uh, which I've demonstrated the uh, account uh, lookup component, where, uh, where in, by creating a, comp a contact, you could uh, map it to the relevant account. Should, so in this, in today's use case, I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to uh, show you, show the users the shipping address field only when it is different from the billing address field. This way, it saves time by showing them the only the fields they need when they when they need them. So let me begin by adding the address component onto the flow. So first, let me add it as billing address. another field called as component as shipping address. Okay, now I'm going to add a checkbox field, checkbox component, wherein it says, use this field only when the billing address is it is okay so currently what i've done is i've added two components three components one is from the address field one is checkbox field and another one uh, an address field as well so uh, what now i have to set the visibility of the shipping shipping address so this has to be seen only when So this way, this this and this field, this address field will be seen only when the checkbox is ticked. That means when this when this particular checkbox is ticked, it is true. This field will be visible. So here is the logic which automatically comes in. So now let me just map it into the uh, contacts here as well. Contact fields. I've mapped two of the billing addresses into mailing. So I'll let me map the shipping as well. So you can see here this way I've mapped two of two of the address fields into the uh, billing address that's mailing city to billing city and mailing state to the billing state or then the shipping that's the other city to the shipping city and other state to the shipping address. So now let's let's go ahead and save this since this flow is active so we need to save the save as we have an option of save as otherwise that's the reason the save button is disabled since this is active. So let me just go ahead and save. This will have a new version of it. Okay, now, if I want this flow to work, I need to activate this. So let me let me just run a debug. This is another feature which I explained to you in the previous video as well. Uh, before getting in, before activating this, that's before deploying this, we can 
we can ensure that it's working fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this, sorry, debug this flow. And I'm going to show you how that field is visible to the users. So the first name. Okay, now I'm going to search. So this is the previous component which I had demonstrated. So I'm going to attach it to the Tech4 Services Private Limited account. So Billing Street. I'm going to type it as Billing Street, not Sydney. Okay, so now you can see here I've added billing address and shipping address as well. Until and unless I've checked this, that that's when I get the shipping address. This means to say, if my billing address is different from the shipping address, only then I'll be using this. So, So you can see here, I've created a record with account ID. That is the ID of the account that's tech for services, name services, first name and last name has been come updated, mailing city, uh, and the shipping address has also been updated. And that's been, trans the, the record which is created is, the ID of the record is here. So let's, let me just copy this and show that on the Salesforce. So this is the, ID which has been yeah, you can see there's a contact created with an account and account tech for services in private limited uh, and the billing address the, uh, the mailing address and the shipping address has been updated so this way you can show the users uh, which, which will save the users time by showing them only the fields which are uh, which are in need to them and only when they need them so if you have any further uh, relevant clarifications with regards to these two components, that's lookup component and the visibility component, uh, you, can, you can please add them in the comments. And, uh, or if you wish to see any other uh, videos uh, regarding uh, any other uh, feature in Salesforce, you can add it in the comments and we'll try to uh, demonstrate it with the use case whenever we get time. So see you all next time. Thank you.